Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to do in this video is we are going to transfer a domain from Google domains uh, before it gets pushed over to Squarespace over to Namecheap. I did decide to go with Namecheap. They provide a lot of the functionality that I was used to with Google domains, such as domain privacy. I've got some DNS, email forwarding, all of those things all included. And the dynamic DNS does not require an API. Uh, you just have to be able to read how they want it laid out. I've got a video uh, that I'm going to show you how to use it on uh, Unify. So uh, I want to thank uh, Justin for sending that over to me. I'll also show you how to use the dynamic DNS on a Synology. There's a few things that you're going to need to do here. Uh, so let's kind of hop into it. So here I'm at my Google domains and I am looking at my domain called bitsandbourbon.com. And I'm going to transfer that over to Namecheap. Now, one thing that you need to know is I'm probably going to have to pay for another year of this when I do it. So if you've got a lot of domains, depending on when they're registered, you may end up having to pay for another year, which like I said, it's not, it's not bad. But you need to go into that knowing that there's going to be that uh, that extra expense. So on the uh, Google domain side, what you need to do is you need to go into registration settings. And it's going to show you, you know, your contact information, all that good stuff. And when we scroll down, what we're going to do is we're going to find that our domain is locked. And what we want to do is we want to unlock this domain. That's the first step. And then in a minute, we're going to need this authorization code to transfer out. But the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head on over to Namecheap. And if you don't have an account, you're going to go to sign up and you're going to walk through this. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I ran through that sign up form. And the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to enable MFA, 2FA, using the uh, temporal one -time, temporary one-time password, temporal one-time password, however you want to say it. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. It's very important that you turn on multi-factor authentication. So I'm going to do that, and we'll be right back. Uh, one quick thing to note, if you do use hardware keys like YubiKeys, or any other U2F key, Namecheap does support hardware keys. I'm going to use TOTP, but you can use your YubiKey. Just a quick heads up. Also, sorry if you hear the dogs. It's that kind of time of year, and there's something creeping around, and so they're all over it. All right, the next thing we're going to do over here um, on the dashboard is we're going to go to this transfer to us and we're going to do a transfer domain and now what we're going to do is we're going to type in the domain that we want to tra transfer and this one is uh, bitsandbourbon.com now there is also a way to do this in bulk so if you've got a lot of domains you can do this and you can see right here they've got this bulk option so you could do that i'm going to hit transfer it's going to go check, make sure that it's unlocked. And you can see that Squarespace has assumed has assumed that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check this box. It says, by requesting my no domain to be transferred, I agree for Namecheap to retrieve my domain's contact information. I'm going to check that box. And you can see I've got another $10.48 I'm going to have to pay. That's fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop back over to Google Domains. I'm going to get this auth code. It's going to make sure that it's me. All right. And now I've got this code. I'm going to copy and paste it. I'm going to verify it. Got the green check mark. We're going to add this to cart. We're going to view the cart. We're going to check out. I'm going to leave my domain privacy uh, turned on. I'm going to hit confirm order. 
And then I'm going to put in my credit card information. So I'm going to do this. We'll be right back. Okay. So uh, I went through, I put the payment in $10 and 98 cents. And now you can see right here, uh, I have bits and bourbon, but it's gray. It says domain is with another registrar. Transfer will begin shortly. So now what's going to happen is there's going to be a couple confirmation emails that go back and forth. And the last time I did this, it took about an hour. So as each of those emails come through, I will come back. I'll show you what the email looks like, show you what we're doing. And we'll kind of go from there. So I'm going to refresh this status and see. Um, nothing has changed. It just says transfer will begin shortly. So we will be right back. All right. So this email just came in and it says transferring bits and bourbon.com out from Google domains, cancel or approve the transfer. So I am going to go ahead and approve this transfer. All right. When you, uh, click that, then you get this other screen that comes up, it tells you all the things again. Um, and I can either cancel or transfer. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to hit transfer here. So once you click that link, it, it reloads all of your domains on the screen and it says you have approved the transfer. So now we have to wait for the email from Namecheap. So it's a little bit of a waiting game. You can see where doing this in bulk, if you've got a lot of domain names, it'd be advantageous. So you don't have to do this process, in my case, 115 times. So yeah, we'll be back. All right, so uh, I did come back here to Namecheap. And now the, it says awaiting email confirmation. So we're, we're doing that email back and forth. So... We'll be back. Okay, so it has been uh, about an hour. Yes, I'm in my robe now. My back hurts. It's cold. I'm ready for bed. But we got our uh, verification email. We have to verify our email address and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and click this right here to verify and get this done. All right, you can see now it says my email address was successfully verified and my sites will automatically reactivate. And as you can see here now, domain transfer is complete. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit and we're going to go over to uh, Namecheap and take a look. All right, so we're back over here at our Namecheap portal and you can see now that our site is live. So I can manage it or the domain is live. So I can manage it. I can manage the DNS. So that's how easy it was to transfer a domain. Took a little over an hour. Um, I am. I do have a Namecheap affiliate, and I'll leave that link down below. If you uh, uh, feel like clicking on that to buy your domains or transfer your domains over, you don't have to, but it is appreciated when you do that. And in the next video that we do on Namecheap, it will be how to set up multiple devices using dynamic DNS. So come back for that. If you've got any questions about this process, uh, let me know down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links. Uh, the Namecheap link is down there. And if you need IT consulting, if you want us to help you get your domains migrated or you have questions or problems or you need any other IT consulting with security or voice over IP storage, all those things, head on over to willyhow.com, click uh, or fill out the, the contact form that's on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.